I was asked the other day in a comment, do mobile phones uh, produce radiation? And the simple answer to that is no, but they actually do as well. So basically I was asked can you pick it up a Geiger counter and the answer to that is no because a Geiger counter measures nuclear radiation as in alpha, beta or gamma and my Geiger counter only does beta and gamma because it doesn't have an alpha probe but it won't produce nuclear radiation but phones do produce microwave radiation so what I'm going to do is demonstrate to you using an electromagnetic radiation detector which picks up um, basically leaking electromagnetic frequencies or microwaves from an object the, a mobile phone does produce electromagnetic radiation and it's probably not a good idea to be next to one non-stop all day every day so to do that we'll be using an electromagnetic radiation detector and before I use it next to the phone I'll just show it to you next to some other objects to prove it works so it's very simple the number there is like a, sort of a bit like the unit count on the Geiger counter clicks per minute and the closer it is to an electrical current the stronger that number gets and it will sound an alarm when you're next to some current that's quite high so as you'll see as I move it closer to these lava lamps that number goes up until it sounds the alarm pull it away, current's gone uh, you can use it to detect um, wires in the wall which I'll quickly show you here we have it next to a light switch now it's not active here when I move it up close to the light switch see very high number because that's direct current or alternating current and you can follow the wire up using it so now let's try it to a mobile phone now when the mobile phone's inactive and not doing much there's not really a current a little bit of one but not much so then I'll flick this on to standby mode and then yeah as you can see there is definitely electromagnetic radiation coming off of this phone now if you plugged it into normal circuitry like you put on charge this would be a much higher number because it's attached to you know an actual direct electrical current but when the mobile phones like this is very low however once we have the screen on again the number goes up I've sort of been playing around with it and it seems if you've got more apps running you've got a higher number but not strictly speaking I did try phoning the phone and that didn't increase the number but if I just put it on an app I'll show you that that uses more sort of current or electromagnetic ration seeps out from the phone now that there's a web page loading up next to it you'll notice that this number is flickering on and off a lot more this is just using 4G at the moment if I connect it to a Wi-Fi it will be a similar thing but as data comes through to the phone that raises the amount of electromagnetic radiation seeping away from the phone so yep to answer your question radiation does leak from a phone however it's not um, nuclear radiation but it is electromagnetic radiation similar to microwaves which are probably bad for you if you're exposed to them over and over and over again at high numbers but in lower numbers it might just give you a headache or something like that but there you go, um, a mobile phone does release electromagnetic radiation.